No, but it's a big rivalry. It is. It, yeah. No, I don't think there's any hangover because okay. now you got the best team in the country coming in. So you're going to play tough. I think Kentucky is well coached. Mark Stoops has done a great job. Leary hasn't played well. He's been okay. I thought he would be better at quarterback. They can run the ball. And George has been a little bit of a disappointment on, on the defensive side of the ball. I do think that you'll see this game within the number. I'm going to take Kentucky and take the points. This is not the Georgia team we've seen in years no. past. They gave up 219 yards rushing to Auburn last week and a couple of touchdowns on the ground. You're seeing highlights of Ray Davis. That's all we saw last week versus Florida. What a game he had. And that's going to be really where this game is won and lost. If Kentucky can stay balanced and run the football with Ray Davis, I think Devin Leary can make enough throws. Even though he struggled last week, he's been okay. He hasn't turned the football over in four of the last five games. But to me, it's take away Brock Bowers, and then you're looking at Georgia defense, too, that's only got eight sacks in the season. It's not like they're getting a ton of pressure. So this number looks a little fishy because it's so big. But I think Mark Stoops and his team goes in there and keeps this one within the numbers. So I'll take the 14 and a half points. By the way, every time Carson Beck throws a football, I'm like, oh, where's he going? You know, it's like you don't have that much confidence in the game. Even his passes are I don't know, man. He's, he's, he's got a hose. I don't